What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Logs Leads YouTube channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. You're going to want to stay because today we're talking about Matt Ryan. This offseason, the quarterback position was a big issue for the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, should they have stayed with Carson Wentz? Probably not. They moved on. Probably the right decision. And oddly enough, we're going to watch the game against Washington. Um, but I really wanted to watch this game for two reasons. One, to see how Matt Ryan does against different looks. Washington throws a lot of different looks at Matt Ryan. They're one of the better teams in the NFL to do that. And they have a good pass rush, good defensive line. So it's not like Ryan's going to be sitting back there all day. And this was the last game Ryan had Calvin Ridley, a true number one X receiver on the outside to throw the ball to. So I wanted to watch this game. This is a pretty good game for Ryan. I want to show you guys a few clips from it. And we'll ride from here. So this was a second and eight for Atlanta. And this looks like a, a pretty basic cover three match pattern, right? And I, I, like I said, I picked this game for a reason. Cal, Calvin Ridley's here. He's playing. This is the last game he had with Calvin Ridley. I'm pretty sure this was probably Calvin Ridley's best game regardless. But Matt Ryan sees this. He sees the linebacker bite down on the play fake, boom, hits it inside to Calvin Ridley. Like, that's easy pitch and catch. And with a receiver like Michael Pittman in Indianapolis, that's still going to happen. If anything, the play action is going to be better with a guy like Jonathan Taylor, the offensive line like Indianapolis. I, I, I think that will still work. I'll fast forward a couple other plays here. We'll look at this one to Kyle Pitts down into the red zone. Right, so this is a first and 10. Comes out in the, in the shotgun, two by two. Again, play action. Cordero Patterson, boom, these guys are biting down. What does he see? A window to throw to Kyle Pitts. Matt Ryan is very good at reading middle-level defenders, linebackers. Boom, biting down, drifting a little bit. He's supposed to kind of be back tighter to the hash, almost in that hook, in that curl. This guy's supposed to be dropping the hook. He should be right here, but the play action, he bites down a little bit. I'm honestly not sure what he's doing. Doesn't flip his hips quick enough, and Pitts is open. Matt Ryan sees that. He reads it. Boom. Ball. Easy completion. Roll down a couple more plays. I think what you guys are going to see, what I'm seeing now, is how play action helps Matt Ryan. Now, obviously, this is empty. Again, this looks like... It looks like some type, maybe quarters. If I had to guess, it was quarters. But Matt Ryan doesn't see it. He improvises. Nah, that's, that's not bad pocket presence from the step up, break to the outside. He improvises, looks up the field, makes a good pass on the run of Kyle Pitts. That's die. Like, that's a good pass. I want to fast forward to the next drive for you guys, though. Or two drives from now, sorry. Down. Look at this touchdown to corporate Cordero Patterson. So again, it's play action. Calvin Ridley's in motion. He catches the eyes of this guy right here, moving across. Cordero Patterson gets inside leverage on what looks like a post. This safety's in a tough spot because he has, I believe, that's Kyle Pitts kind of sitting down threatening his leverage too. And this is what looks like cover three. So this safety has the deep middle of the field. And if he sees a route coming across, like he's kind of got to buy it with eyes to the other receiver, of course. But after Patterson gets leverage, inside leverage, meaning an inside breaking route, he's inside of this corner, it's game over. Matt Ryan sees this safety hesitate just a little bit. Boom, throws it up to Cordero Patterson. Now, to be honest with you, I think this corner zoned off, which was a mistake, but I don't think this corner catches Cordero Patterson, if you know, to be honest with you. So it's a little bit of a busted coverage, but Matt Ryan sees it and takes advantage of it. That's the most important thing that we can see on that. Look at their other touch, uh, second touchdown drive. We'll look at this one to Calvin Ridley right here.
So Calvin really comes across in motion. This again, it look it looks pre-snap, it looks like man. Because you have this corner falling, Ridley. It looks like man, but Yeah, it, it, it looks like man, and this is an easy pitching catch. Again, having this number one receiver, he has outside leverage on an outbreaking route. He's going to be open. It helps Matt Ryan a lot. That's a good throw on the run. It's on the money, first down. Third and third down, might I add. Third and 13, they convert that. Big conversion. A little bit. Let's check this Cordero Patterson touchdown. So this, again, looks like, at least based on the motion, yeah, this is man coverage. Honestly, a really bad or a perfect offensive play call for this coverage because you have this safety rotating down. Um, it's called one robber, the safety's – or actually, no, I take that back. This is just a cover one blitz. Yeah, this is just a cover one blitz. You have this safety rotating down on Patterson, and Patterson just runs across the line of scrimmage. Matt Ryan sees it, has a little bit of pressure in his face, Still delivers the ball, and Cordero Patterson does the rest. I mean, this guy's a freak. We know this. Um, but, again, Matt Ryan making the right read, right? Their first drive of the second half. Oh, wrong one. Okay. We'll look at this pass to Zacchaeus. Watch how Matt Ryan reads this now. Looks like some sort of cover three match. Or some sort of actually a cover three blitz. I take that back. But again, boom, backer bites down. Ryan sees it. Where's he going with the ball? Right where the backer bit down. It's a good catch by Zacchaeus to hold on to the ball amidst the hit. But Matt Ryan sees that. That's what he does. Again, Cordero Patterson, another touchdown. We'll look at this one. This one's an empty now. Of course, this isn't a load. This is NFL Game Pass at, to a T. But we will try again. Okay, skip forward. All right, so this looks like, again, this actually, this looks like some, tor some sort of, I don't know. It, it looks like a double on that's Kyle Pitts, right? Yeah, it looks like a double team on Kyle Pitts. So these guys are doubling Kyle Pitts. It's one-on-one. -on -one. You kind of have a bracket over here as well coming down, and I think that's Calvin Ridley. But Matt Ryan delivers a good ball back shoulder throw to Cordero Patterson. It's an easy touchdown. Look at this last drive from Matt Ryan as well. So what you guys are kind of seeing and what, I, what I've learned from seeing these clips is that with a number one receiver, Matt Ryan is comfortable in the pocket. These are a bunch of different looks that Washington is showing at him. It's not all vanilla. It's not like when you play the Saints, you're just going to play man coverage. It's a bunch of different looks, and Matt Ryan's getting better at it. And again, here's a third down late in the game. This is a close game. It's a crucial situation. They're passing the ball a lot. They said, what, one, two, three, four, five guys. Matt Ryan stands in the pocket, makes a good throw between two defenders. Like, that's a really good throw. Third and seven, crucial point in the game. Matt Ryan delivers. We'll go down a little bit more. We'll look at this one to Calvin Ridley. We'll go too far to look at the other one to Calvin Ridley as well. Oh, maybe not. We'll look at this one, Calvin Ridley. Again, play action, bootleg. Crossing routes, Matt Ryan sees just the pocket of space with the crossing route to Calvin Ridley. Oh, you know what? This is the wrong play. Oh, that's awkward. Oh, wait. Game pass, man. 
I just chose Matt Ryan to read for him, to be honest with you, but this should be different. Now, what? Apologies, technical difficulties, game passes. I can't say enough bad things about NFL game pass, to be honest with you. There we go. All right, thank God. Pause this, get it bigger. Okay. So this is fourth and two. Again, crucial point. Like I said, this game is a close game. Washington wound up winning it by four. There's a fourth down in the fourth quarter. Matt Ryan sees the motion, right? Man across the board. Some type of, of rat or hole in the middle of the field playing, kind of trying to intercept in breaking routes. Boom, uh, pressure comes. Matt Ryan escapes, delivers a ball for a first down. You know what? This is the wrong play again. I'm just trying to show this. You know, we're just going to move forward to the to touchdown of Mike Davis. That last play will wind up happening. It was roughing the passer. So. Um, they got the first down, the drive kept going, but here's another third down in the red zone. Crucial, crucial play. Matt Ryan sees it. It looks like some type of man across the board. He sees the leverages, gets his check down, and Mike Davis does the rest, but that's not the most important thing other than Mike Davis breaking up time tackles. In Indianapolis, who's going to be getting the ball in that situation? Jonathan Taylor and Naeem Hines. Those guys are better than Mike Davis. And uh, combined, better than Mike Davis and Cordero Patterson. The whole point of this video is for you guys to understand that Matt Ryan <coughs> has the capabilities with a number one receiver and with play action. Michael Pittman, probably not as good as Calvin Ridley, in my opinion, but he's a very capable number one receiver in the NFL, and I think he's going to make a leap with a better quarterback. And then play action game. I don't know if there is a better play action team, maybe the Titans, than the Colts are right now. So when you when you get a guy like Jonathan Taylor in the back backfield, he's averaging five, six yards to carry. You fake to him after he's averaging five, six yards to carry all game. The linebackers are going to bite up like we saw clip after clip. Matt Ryan's going to be able to throw the ball in behind them, get those chunk plays. I, I think he's going to do really, really well in Indianapolis. Thank you guys for watching. And if you're new, please hit that subscribe button, like the video if you liked it, and comment any other film reviews you guys want to see because I, I'm trying to do anyone that I can. Just give you my two cents on different clips. God bless you guys.